you've heard of the gray strat now it's time to bring the orchard heal off strategy into the game you're gonna gather all of the consumables in corny complex and the orchard just to the north sit on a campfire and heal through all the way to night zone you have a chance to win games if done perfectly now let's show you how to do it let's start with the basics and talk about each zone and how much damage it does so we know it starts with two one tick zones goes to two tick goes to five tick then eight and then ten for the moving zones it's a lot of damage overall that's 5270 total damage if you start at zone number one now obviously you're not going to take damage in zone number one but still there's a lot of damage that is going to be output just from storm now let's talk about what's available in the nearby area these are not perfect for the corn because they're rng based on whether or not stocks will drop them but it gives you an idea of where they're at the cabbages are consistent and will consistently place there now there's the red house just to the east of corny that drops about 30 corn per game then you have corny complex corn that drops 72 corn then there is also 89 cabbages there at orchard you have about 30 corn and then you have 61 cabbages that you can farm there so all together that is 133 total corn 150 total cabbages overall 283 heals in addition to corn and cabbages you will also find apples bandages and med kits that will help you heal along the way now let's talk about where you're going to find all of these heals i've taken the liberty to highlight the areas where both corn and cabbages are found and this is the area that you basically want to stay within and be collecting in during this strategy most of the corn is down in corny crops highly recommend using a car to run it over then going back and picking it up actually would recommend using a car through this entire process then you also have the cabbages on this northwestern side and they're all the way down at the bottom honestly the bottom cabbages i didn't highlight because more often than not it's a waste of your time to be able to grab those and bring those all the way back up to the orchard campfire there's going to be two campfires that you can use, although 9 out of 10 times, it's going to wind up being easier to use the orchard one rather than the corny one. The last piece of this heal is going to be the campfire. You want to keep the campfire going as long as possible. So, when you're collecting all these heals, you also want to be farming wood and periodically dumping it off at the campfire. This will allow you to continue to stoke it, and you want at least 4,000 total wood, if not 6 or more. 9,000 is the absolute most that you would need as that will keep the entire campfire running throughout the entire game. Now, quickly to recap, what you want to do is gather the corn and cabbages in Corny Complex, Orchard, and the Red House nearby. You also want to farm as much wood as possible. You can pick up the apples in Orchard, but honestly, they're not as valuable as the corn and the cabbage, so get those if you've collected all the corn and cabbage possible, and also chop down the trees to gather wood and drop it back off. You can knock off two birds with one stone with that one. I wish I could give you guys a perfect or an optimized path in order to grab and gather all this, but there isn't one. It's going to depend on where players land around you if you're contested at Orchard and where the zone pulls. So your best case scenario is just always to land at the gas station to the south of the Red House, grab that, and then go ahead knock out the corn and grab all the loot starting there max your wood and rotate into orchard late i found that to be the safest then you'll just keep depositing the heels and the wood at one of the campfires of your choosing until the third zone basically once third zone ticks you no longer want to keep all three players alive you want to focus all the heels on the one player and allow them to start their heal game Here's the order that you want to heal in. You want to use apples and bandages first. Those should be able to get you through the five tick, AKA up to fifth zone. Once you hit that, then you want to start using your cabbages, your corn, your med kits. It goes from the lowest amount per heal all the way up to the most amount per heal. If you've done all that right and you've collected enough heals, you should be chilling. The wood is also important because you need the campfire to keep running. Now, in addition to just simply healing, we tested this in a scrim where there was storm surge going on for about a minute. 
and we were able to stay alive, or at least two weeks was able to stay alive, using minis, slurpfish, and continuing the campfire plus the cabbage strategy. Using this, he was able to outheal Storm Surge for about 55 seconds. Once you survive Storm Surge, then it just goes back to using all of your 10 tick heals, the cabbages, the med kits, and the corn, and using those to stay alive as long as possible. You want to make sure you have an organized loot pool in front of you. That way you can easily grab the wood, the corn, the cabbages, the med kits, the minis, all of that so you don't run into issues when you're trying to get a refresh. This isn't the flopper strategy or the small fry strategy. Each piece has to be timed just right otherwise you will go down or start to lose health. There's a lot less flexibility on this than there is the cray strategy so you have to make sure you're using your wood correctly you're using your heals correctly and you're prepared for storm surge that is the three biggest pieces that is going to cause you issues is running into poor inventory management running out of wood or running into storm surge issues without a plan to out heal it we once again had to deal with seventh or 30 man storm surge it didn't last too long but still affected us nonetheless Again, two week awesomely was able to heal that off, but this is very stressful and very high risk and pretty ticky tacky as far as how you have to do everything. So when you guys are doing this, make sure you've practiced it before you're trying to do this in a tournament. I was able to bring this into a solo game, just a solo arena game and able to get second place. Two Week and I did this for the first time together in a duo and got back to back second places. So this is actually a very easy way to get arena points if you just want to do this and rack up your placement instead of trying to get W key and W key everyone else. That is the most effective strategy that I've found. It is best as a trio as you can see if you do it right and you organize your loot well enough you're going to be able to withstand into the ninth zone. We were able to get ninth place here and if two week was able to get a few more heals we could easily get top five or second in these stacked lobbies that is absolutely unheard of and when you optimize your path and get better at this we only did this for a single day if you were to take a couple of days maybe a week to optimize this you're going to be able to consistently get top threes and maybe even win games using this strategy well, I hope you guys found this video helpful and you were able to replicate it. Let me know down in the comments how this worked out for you if you were able to win matches. I wasn't able to in the first day that I tried this, but I'm sure if I kept going at it, we would definitely be able to get some dubs and if I didn't try and do it in some stacked Storm Surge scrims. But anyway, let me know how this works out for you. Interested to see if anyone does this in FNCS. It is easily replicatable just because of the flexibility and how much actual heals there are in the corny orchard area. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Somebody's Gun. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.